Southern Africa, a land of breathtaking landscapes and powerful rivers, has long relied on hydropower to light up homes and power industries. Hydropower, which accounts for over 20% of Southern Africa's electricity, has been the backbone of the energy sector in countries like Zambia, Lesotho, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. But this backbone is cracking under the weight of climate change. In the highlands of Lesotho, the once majestic Katse and Mohale dams lies in disarray as water levels in the two dams continue to drastically reduce. The Muela hydropower station is facing a restraint on its hydropower production as the nation continues to deal with the impact of the relentless droughts. Seshope Ramakoro shares insights of operations at the plant. <laughs> If I recall well, it was about 14% food. While it was less than 10%. So, we have to say that 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 we have to say Despite Despite being over a thousand kilometers apart, the stories of Lesotho and Zambia share a common narrative. In Zambia, the Zambia Electricity Supply Company is struggling to supply stable electricity to its clients in both rural and urban communities. The challenge, which has been exacerbated by climate change, can also be seen by reduced water levels in the Lake Kariba and Victoria Falls. Situated along the banks of the Zambezi River, Kariba Dam on Lake Kariba stands as a vital energy resource for both Zambia and Zimbabwe. Constructed to capitalize on the immense power of the river, the dam symbolizes progress, resilience and regional unity. However, in recent years, the narrative has shifted to one of declining water levels and the subsequent challenges of an escalating energy crisis. The Zambezi River Authority, ZRA, a company entrusted with the maintenance of the Kariba Dam, is equally concerned over the receding water levels in the lake. ZRA Director of Water Resources and Environmental Management, Engineer Christopher Chisensei, shares what this change entails. When you've got drought conditions, El Nino, and for the current year you are expecting 18, it means the amount of water that each of the two countries can share in terms of power generation at Kariba reduces. And that is why for the current year, each of the two power stations have received 18 be, uh, 8 billion cubic meters of water for power generation. Now, 8, this is the usual 20 or 22 which the power station is used to. That's a drastic reduction. So in summary, the Unino conditions have led to poor Zambezi river flows and that has resulted in low water levels at Kariba and in order to avoid running out of water at Kariba for use in power generation, we had to allocate a less amount of water to both Zesco Limited and their Kariba North Bank power, power station power generation operations and Zimbabwe Power Company for their Kariba South Bank power station power generation operations. So, a very reduced water allocation for power generation results from El Nino conditions which cause uh, poor rains and reduced water levels in the Zambezi and reduced water levels in the Caribbean. In 2019, Lesotho recorded its lowest water level mark attributed to reduced rainfall. Preliminary investigations reveal that Katse was at 14% capacity and Mohale dropped below 10%. 
This critical shortage marked the beginning of a nationwide energy crisis. Senior operations and maintenance engineer says the drop in water levels results into the power station generating less electricity. Ha kazedemo itlitse. E ba re ba le 2053 meters above sea level. Ho na ho go bitsang full capacity. Mo jwa le tla be le khose ka o phetha ba mo. Jwa le be le tla thewa le thewa ha le fisa tla sta se e mpe ha go go ba. Ke ha le fisile bo 1986 mo rereng age go kwa mono ho ya tlase ha ga sa fesa ha ba le ka la thimo mo tshini ya gona o le mo o fesa 24 megawatts re re ke rating ya mo tshini e e nna ha tsa ha dem level se di leng tla go re fumane yona 2053 ka tsema ka fumana ho re re fesa ho ya go boma 30 megawatts ka motshini le mo empa level e o height e o a ntse ya tlase go tla fumana ho re le pego ka mona le yona output tla thewa ya tlase in siavonga district of zambia engineers are similarly on a mammoth task to address the effects of droughts on power generation at the country's largest power supply company zesco zesco operating its biggest hydropower station the kariba north bank is facing similar challenges as zimbabwe as they share the kariba dam the world's largest man-made dam Kariba North Bank Power Station Chief Engineer Operations Stanley Singoi stated that the power station has exhausted its allocated 8 billion cubic meters of water for power generation prompting the utility company to implement emergency load shedding schedules <laughs> That is a full load. It's supposed to be lit around 1,000 megawatts. There are six machines. And each machine is weighted at 108 megawatts. So six by 108 will give us 10 megawatts. Uh, currently, Assist in the 
containing this supply, we are also, the company should be actually also importing some power from South Africa, Mozambique, and the Zimbabwe. If you can see, currently as of now, we are getting about uh, 285 megawatts on one leg. In another leg, we are also getting about uh, almost the same. About, about 400 to 500 megawatts. This is the power import from outside of the zone. So that at least we can show the impact of the road changing in our country. The persistence of droughts recorded in Southern Africa over the last 10 years has pushed Zambia and Lesotho into tough economic situations affecting consumers, households and small businesses alike. Electricity tariffs have been hiked in Lesotho as the government has been importing electricity from South Africa while Zambia has enforced emergency load shedding schedules impacting many lives. Siu Mutlanyana is among many small business owners feeling the impact of higher electricity costs. For entrepreneurs like him, power is not just a utility but a lifeline. <laughs> Ice <laughs> James Malenga, a welder from Zambia, also shares on how drought induced load shedding has impacted a business he has depended for many years to sustain his family. I'm going to go to the 
Just like other businesses impacted by increased electricity tariffs and load shedding, salon owners are struggling to meet the demands of the customers as well as maintain their businesses running. Countries like Zambia and Lesotho illustrate how climate variability has disrupted energy systems, creating cascading effects on industries, households and economies. The heavy reliance on hydropower in this water-stressed region highlights the vulnerability of energy security to erratic weather patterns.